Welcome back, future medicos. In our continuing series on the fee structure of deemed universities, we are going to look at one more medical college from Puducherry today. As usual, we are going to cover the seat matrix, the fee structure for general category seats and NRI category seats, and we will look at what was the closing rank for this medical college in the last three years. Come, let's get into the details. We are going to look at Mahatma Gandhi Medical College and Research Institute in this video. This medical college is affiliated to Sri Balaji Vidya Peet, which is a deemed to be university based in Puducherry or Pondicherry. This medical college, the year of inception was 2002. So this medical college is about 23 years old. Looking at the seat matrix for MBBS in this medical college, they offer 250 MBBS seats, which are divided into two categories, that is all India general category or deemed quota or paid quota or management quota, whatever you call it. There are 230 seats available under this general category or deemed quota. Under NRI category, we have 20 seats. So this NRI category, the number of seats keep changing. If you look at a couple of years back, they used to offer 38 NRI seats. And as the demand for NRI seats is generally less, they reduced from 38 to 25 seats. And last year, they reduced it to 20 seats. And even for these 20 seats, there is no demand uh, last year. So I do not know whether they are going to stick to 20 seats or whether they are going to increase it to 38 seats. We need to wait for the seat matrix by MCC. But roughly, this is the uh, distribution last year, 230 for general category and 20 seats for NRI category. Now, where should you register if you are interested in getting a seat in this medical college? You must register with MCC, that is Medical Counseling Committee. Medical Counseling Committee is expected to start registration somewhere around the third week of July. That's what the information we are getting. So please wait for the notification from MCC and then register for MCC on time. Now, what is the fees for general category? The fees for general category, the tuition fees per year is 25 lakhs. In addition to that, there is a research and development fees, which is also charged yearly, which is 1.5 lakhs per year. In addition to that, there is a one-time university registration fee, which you have to pay at the time of joining the college, which is 50,000 rupees. And please remember the fees for all five years will be the same for the entire course. In addition to the tuition fees and research and development fees, they also have something called other fees. E-learning resources, 25,000 rupees, books and records, 30,000, uniform, 6,000, club activities, 20,000, application, 2,000 rupees, health insurance premium, 2,000 rupees, career advancement and progression training, 40,000. So at the time of admission, in addition to the tuition fees and all, you also have to pay this 1.25 lakhs. And among these 1.25 lakhs, some are one-time payments, some are annual fees. For example, the books and records is an annual fees, club activities is annual, insurance premium is annual. These will be charged every year. Now, hostel and mess. Please take note that hostel is compulsory for everyone. So the hostel fees is two and a half lakhs per year, which is twin sharing AC room, double sharing AC room. This two and a half lakhs includes hostel and mess. In addition to this, you also have to pay hostel upkeep charges, which is 5,000 rupees per year. And laundry annual fees is 13,000 rupees. So totally you have to pay 2.68 lakhs towards hostel every year. So you have the tuition fee component, you have other fees, you have hostel and mess. Now let's look at totally how much it comes to study uh, MBBS in this particular medical college. Let's look at year wise, the total fees. So first year, the estimated fees is tuition and research and development, you will pay 26.5, university registration 50,000, other fees 1,25,000, hostel MS 2,68,000. So the total fees in the first year comes to about 31 lakhs. How much? 31 lakhs roughly for the first year. Second year onwards, you don't have the university registration fees and the other fees is around 52,000. So that adds up to roughly 30 lakhs from second year onwards. So overall, if you look at, you need a budget of about 1.5 crores to complete MBBS in this college under general category. Now, moving on the NRI category, 
For NRA quota, the only difference is the tuition fee is charged in US dollars, which is 55,000 US dollars. Whereas for general category is 25 lakhs Indian rupees. For NRA quota, 55,000 US dollars. Other fees, everything else remains the same. R&D, university registration, other fees, hostel and mess, everything else is same. So let's look at what is the total expense for NRA category. So if I convert one US dollars to Indian rupees at roughly around 86 rupees per US dollar, I'm getting about 47.3 lakhs plus 1.5 uh, R&D. So my yearly fees for tuition and R&D comes to about 49 lakhs. First year university registration, 50,000. Other fees, 1 lakh 25. Hostel and mess, 2.68. So first year comes roughly around 53 lakhs. Second year onwards, it is roughly around 52 lakhs. So approximately we are talking about 52 lakhs per year to study MBBS in this college. So the total expense will be roughly around 2.61 crores. So the total fees for general category is approximately 1.5 crores, whereas for NRA category, it's approximately about 2.6 crores. Of course, this does not include any of your personal expenses. Now, what is the refund policy? Say, for example, you join this college in the first round and then subsequently you resign and move to state or maybe you upgrade to another college within MCC, how much they will refund to you? They will refund the entire money you have paid after deducting 50,000 rupees. They will deduct 50,000 rupees and refund the re remaining amount to you back to the same bank account from where you have made the fee transfer. Now this 50,000 deduction is only during the period when MCC allows you to resign. If MCC has stopped the resignation, then the college will not allow you to resign. So you have to be careful if you are joining and leaving the college, then you will lose 50,000 rupees. And if you are trying to resign after MCC closes the resignation portal, then you will not be able to resign. Or even if you still insist to resign, then maybe you have to pay the complete five years fees and then leave the college. Now, what is the closing rank for this college under the general category in the last three years? In 2024, if you look at round one closed at around 8,92,000 all India rank. Round 2 slightly went up to 7,78,000. Round 3 further went up to 5,34,000. And stay round closed at 4,26,000. Once again, the same story I tell in all the deemed universities videos. The cutoff keeps increasing for most of the deemed universities. So if at all you are interested in deemed universities, go in round 1, you have a better chance. Now, 2023, 2022, you could see that it's roughly around that 9 lakhs All India rank. So, 8.5 to 9 lakh might be a safer zone or even up to 10 lakh. Sometimes the cutoff may come down. So, don't worry too much about this cutoff. This is just for your information. If this college is in your radar, if this college is something you like, then you should put it in your choices in round one itself. This is the need score. Need score is not that important. Now, moving on to NRA quota. NRA quota, as far as you have a pass mark, you have cleared NEET exam and you are eligible for NRA quota or NRA sponsored or OCI, then it's very easy to get a seat in this college. Just you need to select the NRA choice in this college, you will get the seat. You could see that round one, round two, round three last year, there is no demand. There were only 20 seats, but even for 20 seats, there is no demand in round one, round two, round three. Of course, in stay round and special stay round, the seats got filled up. But of course, even that, that is at a very, very low closing rank of 13,40,000. So almost like pass mark. 2023, they had 25 seats and for 25 seats, there is no applicant at all. Zero applicant. You could see that none of the seats were allotted in 2023. 2022, again, the seats, there is no demand. They had 38 seats and all the three rounds, you could see that the seats did not get filled up. So basically, you can conclude that a pass mark is sufficient to get a seat under NRA quota in this college. Of course, if you are willing to spend 2.6 crores, yeah, you can easily get a seat in this particular medical college under NRA quota. Now, of course, disclaimer, the fee information is what I have collected from the college website and what I have interpreted from the prospectus. I strongly suggest you to go and see the college website before doing the choice filling because the colleges may change some fees just before the counseling. So it's always important to verify the information 
before filling the choices. You should not fill the choices and then, right, say, for example, the college has changed something and then they have published a revised prospectus, then you should not be caught uh, doing a choice filling based on certain assumptions. So please check the prospectus before filling the choices and uh, the cutoff ranks were collected from MCC website in the last three years. So I hope this information is useful to you. Thank you. My best wishes.